Hey everyone, my name is Chris Winglebug, but I also sometimes go by Lego MacGyver. And I am here today with a awesome, really fun new Lego challenge for you guys. This is honestly probably one of my favorite ones I've done so far. I'm so excited to bring it to you. It's really fun, you can really use your imagination, do whatever you want here. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to think of and oh, this is going to be absolutely great. So, we're just going to jump right on in because there was one thing you're going to need for this challenge isn't Lego and it can as it can easily be something bigger or smaller but what I suggest you use is you need a two liter bottle whether that had pop in it water juice soda whatever it was whatever you need you need it empty all right once you have that go ahead take the label off the guy you can leave the cap on because it'll add to the appearance of it but then what you're going to do is at the bottom, there should be a line around the entire bottle, which is a seam that was made from when the bottle was made. Now, what I suggest doing is you're going to want to make a little sharpie mark just on one side of it, just a smaller one, and then you're going to cut along that seam. That way you have this bottom part and obviously the top part. Now, that little sharpie mark is to help you be able to put it back together. Mine's a little off from where I've made it, but that's all right. And then you're going to go ahead, you're going to just put a little piece of tape on it. And the reason why for this is because today we are going to be making Lego ships in a bottle. Now, to give you an idea of what I mean by that, let me just insert, I have my little water plate here that has these little two by twos which has these little pegs at the bottom. If you don't have these that's fine you can just have something to represent water to go at the bottom of yours. Mine I made holes in the plastic so I could push these little Lego pegs through here because then I can take it and I can connect it to my base just like that so now I have my little stand for my bottle and my water inside of it now obviously that's only half of it because people don't just have water in a bottle that'd be a water bottle and you know don't need exactly need Legos to make that so what you, once you have your little bit of Lego water in there, it is up to your imagination what you put in here because when somebody says ship in a bottle, most people are going to think pirate ship, right? They are going to think something that looks very much like this, and that would be very traditional for a ship in a bottle. But we use the term ship for a lot of different things because ship being used for pirate ship is very old-fashioned people don't really boat around in pirate ships anymore do they we don't really use sails anymore we have electricity now we use things like motors and generators paddles and stuff to get us around so when somebody thinks of ship perhaps maybe you're thinking something more like an aircraft carrier sort of guy, something that the army would use, like a warship, or even a submarine. And that is something you could put inside of your ship in a bottle, because it would technically be a ship. But that's not the only thing, because ship doesn't nice have to be something that's used on water. So you could, essentially, you could have a rocket ship in a bottle. Or, and this is especially for some of you Star Wars fans out there, spaceships in a bottle. Or starships in a bottle, depending on which terms you prefer. So, yeah, there's a lot of awesome things you can do with this idea. Simply because ship can mean a lot of different things, and you can build whatever you wish out of Lego because there's infinite possibilities there. So all you really need is whatever you're going to make. 
and a bottle. It doesn't even have to look like this fancy. I made it to where I had little waves in there. But you can just have it to where you have some blue plates in there to have your ship rest on. Or maybe you don't even have water. Maybe you have it black to make it look like the night sky. Or maybe you just build your ship in there. It can be as... And it can easily be, you know, as small as possible, like one of these spaceships. Or, you know, you can make something larger like my pirate ship. Or, because it's a big bottle, maybe you make something even bigger to fit inside of it. You are able to have your imagination run wild with this. And I can't wait to see what all of you guys are going to make. So, I hope you guys have fun making all of that. We at the Sioux Center Public Library and myself will love to see what you guys make up. So make sure you guys post your photos in the comments below of this video. We can't wait to see what sort of things you're going to come up with. And I hope you like this challenge and you come back next week for another one. As I always say, stay bricky, keep building.